So today we're going to talk about long division and I'm going to teach the traditional method of doing that. And there's a phrase that you should remember, it's, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? We're going to get to what that is important in a minute and we'll talk about that. So the first thing you're going to do, is, the first thing you need to know about division is that this is the way it's set up and you're trying to figure out how many threes go into 45. So how many threes go into 45? That's what's being asked in this problem here. And the easiest way of doing that is by taking it one number at a time. So what we're going to say is how many threes go into 4? And that's the division part. How many threes go into 4? Well, one three goes into 4. That's the divide part. That's the reason why it's D. So, so that's for division. That's the first step. So that's the first step here. So it's 1 is how many there are. So now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to multiply. That's what the that's what the m is for. Multiply one times three is equal to three, and I put that down right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the s part, which is subtract. So I'm going to subtract 3 from 4, and I end up with 1. And now, I need to go ahead and check and make sure. Okay, is 1, can 3 fit into 1? No, 3 cannot fit into 1. So therefore, I know I've got the right amount of number. If I had a bigger number than 3 here, then I would know that I would need to change the number that's right up here on top, because that would mean that I took too few out, that I have an extra 3 that I can put in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, check. That's the check the part of the answer. That's what I was doing there. So checking the answer by seeing if the 1 is less than the 3. So that's the C part. And then the last part is this bring down. Bring down the 5. So that's what the burgers part. So bring down. Okay, so now what I've got is I've got my problem here, and I'm going to say, okay, well, what is, what is the next thing I'm going to do? And now I'm looking at a new problem. I'm looking at how many times does 3 go into 15? Well, 3 goes into 15 five times. And when I say that, that's what I'm being asked. So I brought that down, that's the 15, and now how many times does 3 go into 15? It goes in five times. So I start this whole process over again. That's the division part. It goes in 5 times. So now 3 times 5 is going to be 15. That's the multiplication part. That's that part. And now I'm going to do the subtraction. So 15 minus 15 is 0. And then I check my answer. Zero. Does 3 go into 0? Well, I can fit... Can I fit any more 3's into 0? Can I take one more 3 out of 0? No, I can't. So I think I'm done. And then the last part would be bring down. I don't have any other numbers to bring down, so I'm done with my problem. So now I've got a new problem here, and I wrote this out again. That does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? I wrote that out here, just to remind us of the steps. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, can I put 4 into 2? I cannot, so I put a 0 up here. And that's the division part. I just went ahead and did that part. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the multiplication. 0 times 4 is 0. So now I did this part here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the subtraction part, which is just it's going to give me a 2 on the bottom here. And I'm going to check my answer. When I check my answer, what I'm going to say is, is 2 less than 4? Yes, it is. So therefore, I know that I don't have an extra 4 that I could pull out of there. So that's an important step in terms of checking. And the last step is going to be this pulling down of the next number. So that's what is happening here. So now I've got a new problem here. My new problem is how many times does 4 go into 25? Okay, well, 4, and when I divide 4 into 25, what I get is... I get 6. So I'm going to end up with 6 up at the top. Okay, so that's that first divide step. Now, 6 times 4 is going to be 24. 
That's the multiplication piece. Then I do the subtraction. So when I do the subtraction, it's going to be 1. Then I check my answer. Is 1 less than 4? Yes, it is. So I know I'm on the right track. The last step is I'm going to bring down this 6. Now, I'm going to, now I have a new problem here. How many times does 4 go into 16? Well, 4 goes, it divides into 16 four times. And again, now I'm going to go ahead and do the multiplication. 4 times 4 is 16. Subtract. So now it's going to be 0. And is 0 less than 4? Yes. So I know I'm on the right track. That's the checking part. And then I bring down another number, but I'm actually done because the final answer is going to be 63. Okay, let's do another one. We're going to pick up the pace a little bit here. So first step here is does 5 go into 1? No, it does not. So that's the divide part. And 0 times 5 is going to be 0. Subtract 0 from 1, you end up with 1. Check your answer. Is 1 less than 5? Yes, it is. So I know I'm on the right track. Bring down this 5. And 15 is my new thing that I'm going to be dividing 5 by. Does 5 go into 15? Yes, it does. It goes in. Let's, let's just see what happens if I do this incorrectly. Let's say that I'm going to write this in red just to make sure it's clear that I, I know that this is incorrect. Let's say that I think it goes in twice. 2 times 5 is going to be 10. Then look what happens when I do the subtraction part. Now I'm going to check my answer. And 5 and 5 are the same number. I can fit a 5 into 5. So I know this 2 is wrong. That's the reason why it's really important to check your answers that way. So let's go back here and put the right answer, which is instead going to be 3. 3 times 5 is 15. When you subtract, you end up with 0 here. Now you bring down a 0. It's really important that each time you do this, you check your answers. Zero, uh, 5 is less than 0. That was the check part, and then I brought it down. Even though I know that I can't fit 5 into 0, or 0, 0 in this case here, I still have to try. Does 5 fit into this 0 part? No, it doesn't. So I have to put a 0 up here. 0 times 5 is going to be 0. And then subtract it, and you're going to end up with 0 still. Check my answer. Is 0 less than 5? Yes, it is. So I know I'm right. Now I'm going to bring down this 6. Last part. Then how many times does 5 go into 6? It goes in one time. And that's, then I do the multiplication part. So 1 times 5 is 5. And then I do the subtraction. I'm going to do 1 here. And I know that I'm on the right track because 1 is less than 5. In this case here, what I'm going to have is my final answer is going to be 301 with a remainder of 1. A lot of times people write it as this, 301R1. So that's the steps that, uh, that the students should do each time. They need to, first of all, divide, then multiply, then subtract, then check your answer, and then uh, bring down the next number. And those are the steps in uh, making sure to check your work, and hopefully then this will become something that just becomes very comfortable and um, become second nature as you, as you work through it.